Cause I don't wanna slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste it Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog I always like Oh my goodness, look in the mirror, in the mirror, in the camera, and like my hair is always crazy. I always wear my glasses on top of my head. I'll tell. I need to see with them. Oh, so this is the shirt I was talking about yesterday. I made. I don't even know how much I vlogged. Do you like it? It's a chicken, a goat, a rabbit, and a duck. Um, I don't even know really how much I vlogged. If anything is worth sharing on yesterday's vlog because I mean we went out to eat and then after that I came home and worked on Journey's party stuff and I was trying to explain it to y'all and kept getting interrupted so I just stopped filming and I don't think I filmed anything else for the rest of the day so but I was able to get um, quite a few embroidered out I think there was maybe 11 that I embroidered out, but two of them were um, samples. One was uh, a jack that I did with that striped fabric for Journey. I made it for Journey. And then um, one was a pumpkin I made for Sterling. I'll try to insert pictures. But um, I got a Blanks Boutique order today I actually need I'm, I'm glad it can it came um, sometimes my post office will um, still run packages on holidays so like today they ran packages so. and I was kind of hoping they would because I really needed this box because these are um, a few shirts I have to make in here and one it's like a rush order they needed it it was supposed to ship out today but there's no mail and I didn't think about that last week when they contacted me and I told them oh, if you order today it shipped Monday I wasn't thinking it was a holiday anyway so I'm gonna see um, I think they needed it by the 14th or 15th I don't know 15th is my husband's birthday though um, so I'm going to make their shirt and then look into what how much one day is um, Depending on how much they paid. I think they paid like $14.95 As part of their rush order fee That includes party mail shipping upgrade. So I don't know it depends But I did order um, I think I mentioned a while a few vlogs ago that I wanted to start ordering the onesies from there. The thing I didn't like was the buttons down the back. I know a lot of people like the buttons down the back, but when you're trying to embroider, I guess it depends on the machine you have. Like if I had a PE770, that would be a godsend, you know what I mean? Because um, it's flat and you got to lift. But when you're using these machines, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but the thing is, is like when I press it to find my center and press it, it leaves like the little buttonhole. And even if I try to open it up and do it, it just don't work out. But we'll make we'll make do. We can't have everything, right? Can't have everything. Um, I got an order for a 5T boys brown shirt. I got an order for a 4T long sleeve boy shirt. Actually, two of them is good got two orders for those I got this one was a mistake because after I read it and I already placed my order I should have take, taken it off and I forgot to um, it's a 12 month long sleeve boy shirt it was a size 12 which none of these blank companies seem to carry a long sleeve 12 so I'll have to see if I can find one like locally like maybe Walmart has their boy shirts I think there's go 10, 12. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. A size 6 black. I should have ordered two of those. I need another one now. Um, two. Okay, I think I have two. Size 6 
boy shirt. I don't even know why I'm showing you guys. Oh, in case anyone's interested, I guess. I've been trying to really stock up on shirts. Although it don't look like it. It's a real mess over there right now. <laughs> but for the most part, like, um, I need size 8. But I should have almost every shirt that I have orders for right now on hand. The only one is, like I said, is the size 12 long sleeve boy shirt. Um, and I think now I need another size 6 boy shirt. I thought I ordered two in the black, but I guess I didn't. I was thinking I ordered two. And I was excited because I was like, oh, I already ordered that. But I guess I didn't. Um, anyway, it is Monday. I am going to get to work. It is, is it really? Gosh, it's almost 5 o'clock, you guys. It's almost time to start dinner. What have I been doing with my life? No. <laughs> I went outside and I tried to pick up a lot of the junk around the yard, you know. You know, children's and such. Um, they have a... Sterling has a habit of putting stuff in the chicken coop and it gets muddy and gross and yucky and then she just throws it out of the chicken coop so it just lays outside the chicken coop like is it garbage is, you know is it salvageable is it you know? so anyway I cleaned up a bunch of stuff because you guys know I want to have Jerry's party um, I got her bounce house squared away and she'll be very excited for that. I don't even think she's ever been in a bounce house, so who knows? She might not even know what to do. I'm sure she'll figure it out. But I'm going to go ahead and work on a few shirts. I got several I got to get done today. But I did get a lot done yesterday. I'm so thankful for that. Okay, don't drop it anymore. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I don't know what they're doing over there. It's very noisy, but we're here to feed the animals. You carrying the bucket? Yeah. It's almost as big as you are. <laughs> oh, want a flower. Okay, come on. Me carry your bucket, or you got it? Okay. Hey guys! Oh my gosh, Sterling! Where's Trixie? It's on this side. Did she get out? No. Did she go back in? She's in the rabbit here. It's a don't, hole right don't. there. Yeah, there's a hole right there. I'll put my umbrella in there. Anyway, we had to move these two roosters over here because this is another rooster right first we moved here. the guineas over there. But the guineas aren't the problem. The roosters are the problem. They keep attacking those guineas. And those guineas are beating up the roosters. Because they're so tiny. So we moved these two guys over here. Just because they're bad. Bad boys. Hey guys. So. About 1am the other morning. These guys were crowing. <laughs> Like really loud. And I know my neighbors don't like it. I mean, I never heard that they don't like it, but I'm pretty sure. Since their house is just right there. That's where their bedroom is. So, it was 1 a.m. I looked up <laughs> rooster collars. <laughs> and I bought some. So, we're going to try them. They're supposed to be cruelty free. And you're just supposed to put them on their neck lower down. You're supposed to be able to fit a finger underneath it which I totally can his is way looser than his but <laughs> they both don't like them 
Yeah. Like, his is really loose. Like, I can fit, like, probably a whole... I could put, like, three fingers in there. <gasps> anyway. Ooh, ooh, we just want to show you what these guys are doing. <laughs> because they're so funny. <laughs> Jessica's getting used to it. Jessica's is not as... <laughs> These two don't like each other, by the way. No. So for them to even be by each other, it's pretty funny. Jessica, come here. Jessica, There's a you cat over there. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. I don't trust her. Boo. I don't. Yeah, trust I don't boo. trust Boo either. <laughs> Jessica. Oh my gosh, who did that? Jessica, <laughs> here, put him down here and see what. Somebody just pooped right there. Come here. Come here. I don't think his is going to work at all. It's not tight enough. <laughs> it's on the other hand. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's funny. Stop it. We're going to learn to love each other. Well, you have to put them back in. Otherwise, you know they'll take off. Especially him. <laughs> Look at him. Put that thing in. Are we going to have to take off the collar? No. Oh, Mommy! Stop! Messing with the collar. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you guys can see. He's like, oh. So they got them put on. Obviously, it's just an and oh, you're all up in my fuss. Just an experiment for right Hi, now. Sorry. Shirley's gonna come keep an eye on them for a second. We bought our chickens. Chicken Hopefully, collars. Hopefully so they'll be okay. So she's gonna be out here monitoring them for a while. Um, I read a lot of stuff on them about how you're supposed to make sure they're not too tight, that they still can eat and drink, but I'm coming. I know, my goodness. Mom, push this red button. You push that red button. Push the red. Let me get me a drink. Anyway, I'm downstairs making ribbon trims, but the package just arrived, and it's, y'all, y'all, I could have made these. Um, so this is what they are. They're just like, um... I forgot this material, but it's like a vel like the back of a Velcro like piece. So we can make this with Velcro. You just have to have one of those and some other side. But you're supposed to um, put it low on them, and it's supposed to be pretty tight. Um, I guess the idea is when the rooster goes to crow, like they go. <gasps> like draw in a bunch of air and let it go so it's supposed to um keep them from doing that so they don't crow as much now i've saw different things where they can crow like a lot some you know um and if they do that if they still can crow and stuff then it's not tight enough um, in some instances, I was reading, like, reviews where it has, like, um, they were still able to crow, but they didn't crow as often. I guess it's harder for them to get that, to crow it out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a rooster. But I just know that my neighbors probably don't appreciate my roosters crowing at 1 a.m. So. And Squirt and Jessica are the ones that crow a lot. Gaston and Willie, they do crow as well. They're little bantams. But I was reading the reviews on these collars and it was saying how it doesn't work on bantams. They're too, the collars are too big for the bantams. So. What? Are you trying to push that white button? 
Okay. Well, you know what? It used to go to lights, but now the lights don't work. It used to go to that light up there. It doesn't work. Here, you want it back? You want to play with it? No. Okay, I'll put it right here. There you go. I gotta finish Mama's ribbon trim. My phone always does this. Why does this do that? When I get an order, I won't show you guys like all of it. But you guys, well, well, I don't know if you can see. There's like three of the same item, but my phone glitches. It's not, I didn't get three orders for it. It just shows up the same thing. Uh, anyway, that was another order for a ribbon trim. Same one I'm working on. I think I have one, two, three, four. I'll have four of the same ribbon trims to make. So I'm going to work on that. As soon as I get done with these three, I'll go ahead and cut that one as well and continue to work on that. Then I have a bunch of shirts. I did not work in vlog. Like for the past two days, I haven't vlogged. And yesterday, I did not work down here. Um, <clears throat> as you guys know, I've been sick. Um, I've been having this sinus issue. Um, I know it's sinus. I know it's just sinuses. Because it hasn't moved down to my chest at all. It's just in my sinus area and I'm all still have a lot of swelling but I am able to breathe it's going away but it's going away slowly um, but I have this ear gets clogged up and it's like sore like an earache um, I don't think I have an infection there's never been any like thick green mucus or anything that would signal an infection I just think it's clogged and um, anyway so yesterday, I just didn't vlog, I ended up working on a few tutus and making several hair bows and I made a new intro for my videos. I like to do that every so often because I kind of get bored with my intros but um, usually I don't do it this close to the holidays because I like to make a holiday intro but I figured it'd be a nice intro to go back, like use it for you know all of October and then November part of November and then switch to like a holiday intro and then maybe go back to this one for January February and then switch over to like a more updated spring I don't know yeah I don't know anyway and that usually takes a long time I have a new photo a uh, photo video editor I am working with but I have not been able to edit a video fully and upload it because of the processing speed of my computer upstairs now if I had used this one down here my new one that I just bought it probably would work perfect um, but I use this strictly for that machine for that machine right there I don't even use it for anything else um, I just um, put put my designs on a jump drive right there and then after I do sew up pro use it get it the way I want it I put it on there I upload it and that's the only thing I use that computer for <coughs> so and I don't want to switch out computers and move that one I just don't want to do that I just don't want to so my plan is to hopefully get a newer computer for upstairs that I can use this um, video editor with I'm trying to get more fluent with it I think the more I work with it the more it'll be easier for me to use obviously with anything so um, I have been doing that and I just haven't been feeling great but I'm getting I mean today I feel tired that's what I feel tired but I feel like I'm getting better. I just have to make these ribbon trams, work on some orders. I gotta figure out what's for dinner. Um, tomorrow is my husband's birthday, so I'm going to make Thanksgiving dinner. I know, me and my Thanksgiving dinners. I just love to make. I just love to cook. And um, I'm going to make this time. 
I got a turkey breast. I got dressing. So we're going to have turkey, dressing, mashed potatoes, gravy. Um, I should have bought some corn. If we go out tomorrow, I don't know if we will go out tomorrow, but if we go out tomorrow before dinner time, maybe I'll buy some corn. I did buy green beans though, so. Um, and then we have, oh, I should do green bean casserole. I love green bean casserole. I love it. Wouldn't be that hard, y'all. All I got to do is grab a can of Kraven mushroom soup, and I've got soy sauce, and I have to get the, um, the topping, the onions. See, my husband has to, he's, him and Sterling and my son, all three of them got guitars, got electric guitars. And all started with Sterling, and he said he was going to strike while the iron was hot. In other words, he was going to jump on this train because, um, you know, the longer you wait, whatever, they might lose interest, you know, if they have an in show an interest in, you know, doing a, in a musical interest instrument, I can't talk, instrument, you should probably, you know, do it while they still have that interest. So, um, he went ahead and he bought her a guitar after he got hit that one he wanted one and so he bought his and at the same time bought my son Evan one for Christmas so it's an early Christmas present to my son because my son has always wanted one as well so <clears throat> all three of them have the same kind of guitar I don't even remember what color Evans is but I know my husband and Sterling's are the same color which is like a wine anyway they are taking guitar lessons and their first one starts tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So they are going to do that on my husband's birthday and he's working for a guy at work every so often. He has to work for this guy um, and cover. This guy works in the morning. This guy works from like 8 to 4. So my husband will usually come in at 8, go in at 8 and work and then take a break from like noon until like 1 or 2. And then... Um, go back to work and work his normal shift so he's working for that guy but he's you know he's kind of flexible in his schedule anyway so he can you know he worked not yesterday morning he went in earlier than he normally would to get this other guy's work done and then worked his shift and then this morning he went in early and then got off and then you know and then tomorrow he will just work go in earlier than he normally would and work because it's his birthday y'all and then on friday he's gonna go in early in the morning and just continually work and try to get off like at four or five <clears throat> and we're gonna go out and have a date night day um evening um, I want to get stuff for Stoli for Journey's birthday party. I haven't bought her any presents other than a little Trolls book and a cash register. So I want to get her some more birthday presents. Um, and then, you know, we're just going to go out to eat and, and celebrate his birthday again. Because that's, that's what we do. Um, but yeah, back to what we're having. We're going to have turkey and dressing and mashed potatoes and... Um, gravy. I bought cranberries for cr real cranberry sauce so it is going to be just like gotta get apple juice. I forgot the apple juice. See I will have to go to the store. Um, our, or, do we have orange juice? I either make it with apple juice or orange juice. Anyway. <clears throat> and then if I yeah, I'll get stuff for green bean casserole. I love green bean casserole. I know I already said that. but Anyway. Let's get to work. Oh, and back to the collars. Yes, and we're just experimenting, seeing if it works. I actually saw on, if you, any of you watch Weedem and Reap, they actually got the um, crow collars as well. And I don't know if there's this working or not. I haven't watched any of their recent videos, but I think maybe two weeks ago they got some. Maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway... I need to get to work. 
I almost forgot to update you guys. So yesterday, Journey decided that she was going to use the potty. Just like out of the blue, all of a sudden, she wants to use the potty. So I'm like, okay. And she kept telling me she had to pee. Um, so she did actually pee just a tiny, tiny bit in the potty. I was all excited. May I think the thing that sparked it... I don't mean to gross anyone out, but there's her pee in a pot. <laughs> As you can see, just a few little drops. But anyway, <clears throat> she peed in the potty, and I had bought lollipops at the Dollar Tree. So she knew she could get one if she peed in the potty. So um, this was after her already talking about peeing in the potty and wanting to pee in the potty. So... Um, my husband wants to see the, the roosters. I said, okay, hold on. Um, anyway, so then she kept saying, it's hurting, it's hurting. She kept telling me that it was hurting. So I don't know if she's got a urinary tract infection, if she's got a yeast infection, because I do think I did see something probably last week, and I got her a little medicine for that, and I'm not sure if it's, you know, if you're a woman and you know what it feels like when you have that. It's like, you know not good um so anyway um last night she peed and it actually was you know bigger than what that was and then she waited a little while and then she come back and she's like i gotta pee and she peed she full-on peed so she peed three times yesterday in the potty and so far today we haven't because she's in a diaper and she's downstairs um she still hasn't said anything about going to the potty but we will see but hopefully we're on the right track 